garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that she'll be mine? Hello everyone, welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangie and today we have a grocery haul. Now I don't need to tell you guys what things are like once you get to the register at the store. Um, cardiac arrest might be the best way to describe it, but we all know that inflation has hit as hard it is the highest it has been uh, in over 40 years. So basically my lifetime. Um, and so because of that, because of how things are at the gas pump, uh, and things like that. We are making another adjustment to how we are eating here at the house. So um, we are going to be going back to pantry staples, rice, beans, things like that. Um, I did try to make sure that I got plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, but yeah, we, we are doing what we have to do in our house to make sure that we keep a roof over our head and keep the lights on, as I am sure you are doing the same thing at your house. So anyway, I'm going to show you what we got. I spent $125 at Aldi and I spent $8 at Walmart. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got. Then we're going to talk about the meal plan. But before I get to the grocery haul, I wanted to show you all this really quick. Um, a sweet lady that I have known my entire life brought me some books. Um, I, I think she said she got these at an estate sale, but these are some old uh, canning and pickling cookbooks. So we have a quick pickling, a blue, uh, a ball blue book. And this ball blue book goes back to 1960. So pretty cool. I'm sure that the uh, safety instructions are outdated, but still it's beautiful and it's in really good shape to be as old as it is. Um, she also gave me The Busy Person's Guide to Preserving Food by Janet Chadwick. I actually have a book that I highly recommend by Janet Chadwick called The Beginner's Guide to Preserving Food, which I will link down for you in the description box below. I have been raving about that book for years, so it's super cool to have her other book. And then she also gave me this book, The Terrific Garden Tonics 345 Do-It-Yourself fix and Formulas for Maintaining a Lush Lawn and Gorgeous Garden. I have not thumbed through this, um, so I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but it was pretty cool that she gave me that. I got two pairs of shorts at $3.99 a piece at Goodwill. Okay, so moving on down, let's talk about what we got at Aldi. So before I hit the stores, I, I looked at all the apps. I was trying to find some boneless, skinless chicken breasts uh, at a reasonable price, and I couldn't find any. But Aldi did have chicken thighs, bone-in, skin on for $1.69 a pound, which is, you know, pretty decent. Um, so this almost five-pound package was $8.04. Milk was $1.99, which is a lot. Um, tomato paste, I believe these were $0.67 cents a can. So I got two of those. I got two cans of peach slices in the juice, and this will go down into our emergency stash. I got six cans. Okay, so let me explain this really quick. Before Jack left for work this morning, he said, will you please buy cans of stuff that I can grab, you know, for days that he's running late and he can't fix leftovers or he can't make a sandwich or whatever. He said, I just want something that I can put in my backpack and go. So I got six cans of pasta rings and meatballs. There you go. They were, I think those were 67 cents a can also. I got six cans of tomato sauce. They were 32 cents a can, I believe. Um, their premium pork sausage, I believe it was 210. A pound, I got three. Their red grapes were on sale. I think they were $1.69 a pound. That sounds right. Um, I got two bags of pure cane sugar. Again, just getting ready for uh, canning season, wanting to make sure that I have everything I need and I don't have to run out and get anything. I got a, a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. And I wanna say this was about $2. The uh, onions were two, I think these were 230 for a two or three pound bag. What is this? Does it say three pound? Yeah, it was um, 230 for a three pound bag. 
Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. This was just a little over $2 a bag. The sour cream was a little over a dollar for the container. The cottage cheese was close to $2 for the container. Um, yogurt, this was less than $4 for the container for organic yogurt. Um, this large bottle of ranch dressing was a little over $2. Coffee creamer is now two dollars. I think it was two ten, something like that. Um, it used to be like a dollar eighty nine for the longest time, and now it's over two dollars. Um, I got two jars of the organic marinara. It was a dollar eighty nine. It was only like twenty cents more, twenty or thirty cents more per jar than the conventional stuff. So might as well go ahead and spend the extra, in my opinion. Um. I got a container of peanut butter. I think this was around $2. Uh, I got some barbecue sauce. I can't remember how much that was. I think that was about $2. I got two jugs of ketchup. This is for um, storage. I like having lots of ketchup on hand um, because other than a condiment, it's also good in recipes. And my family does not like the organic stuff. They do not like the simple ingredient stuff. They like the high fructose corn syrup stuff. So that is what I get. Uh, anyway, and it was about $2 for each bottle. Uh, a container of dry roasted peanuts with sea salt. And as I was, after I bought it, I was looking at the ingredients and I was like, oh, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> it has a whole lot of other stuff other than just peanuts. So, oh well, live and learn. Okay, we got some pepperoni. Um, I had to get the cheap ham because the expensive ham was twice as much as this stuff. So I got that. Um, this box of saltine crackers was 98 cents. This box of golden round crackers, I think was $1.89, somewhere around there. Um, the sweet corn, this was on sale for 77 cents. Uh, if I had it in the budget, I would have bought, I would have stocked up, but I didn't. Uh, steamed broccoli florette, $1.19, uh, nope, 95 cents a bag. Um, this bag of strawberries, it is 24 ounces and it was about $4. And then same with the blueberries. Um, I did get a package of mild cheddar. This was $1.95 for sandwiches. Back here, I got two bags of gluten-free pasta and they were $2.95 a bag I believe. Again Jack asking that I get stuff for him to grab on the way out the door. They were completely out of the canned chunk light tuna and water. They had all the cans of chunk light tuna and vegetable vegetable oil. They also had skipjack tuna which was 99 cents for the can. Um, this is more but it is also convenient. And then it's also perfect to go in Jack's backpack. So um, anyway, I still have cans of tuna here, but I thought these would be perfect for him. So I just grabbed him four of those. Um, cream cheese, I got two. They were $1.19 a piece, I believe. Um, hash browns, I cannot remember how much this was. I think, I can't remember how much this was. It was less than $2.00 but I got a 10 ounce bag, 30 ounce bag of hash browns. Um, back here, I got two salad kits. These are so handy. Um, they're a little on the pricey side. They're a little over $3, but everything is in there. All you have to do is open it and mix it, and it is a great quick side. So I wanted to have that on hand. Um, I got two blocks of sharp cheddar. These were a dollar. 85 a piece, I believe. I got two blocks of mozzarella cheese. Um, needed some plastic wrap, so I got a box of that. I also got a box of freezer bags. Again, getting ready for garden season. Want to make sure I have a good stock of those. Uh, raisins. Got some of those. Got some of these sweet pop tomatoes. Um, and then I got an, a cucumber. This was just a little over a dollar. And so that is everything that I got at Aldi. And then here's my teeny tiny haul from Walmart. I got two cantina style tortilla chips. These are, I think were $1.50 a piece. 
Um, I got this little bag of real bacon pieces. This was $1.33, I think. And then um, this jug of picante sauce was less than $4 and it was significantly cheaper than like chunky salsa. And so, um, but it was about the same size. So I just went ahead and grabbed that. Of course, here we are getting close to tomato season. So I'll be able to can hopefully a year's worth of salsa and we won't have to buy any for a while anyway. Okay, so that is everything that I got at the store. I know, that was a lot. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you really quick what my game plan is. Um, if you guys have been following our Beyond Labels book club, um, I keep saying, I need to meal prep, I need to meal prep, I need to meal prep. Well, I am going to attempt to do it. I actually, uh, day before yesterday, made meatloaf for dinner and went ahead and made two, I made three meatloafs in all. I made the one that we ate that night and then I made two more to go in the freezer and that felt so good. I was like, okay, I wanna do this some more. So that is my plan, that is my goal. We are, uh, we're a busy family. I work, we homeschool, we go to karate, we have church. My daughter works full time, my husband works full time. So we're just, you know, we have a lot going on. And then when the garden starts coming in, um, you know, and now that we're planting and everything, by the time it's dinner time, I do not want to cook. I don't, I don't want to do it. So um, I really want to, I really want to do some meal prepping. So I was looking at some of the stuff that I already have on hand. So um, I know I've got stuff that I can meal prep beef and broccoli. Um, I want to do a baked, um, like a baked ziti, which is why I have the cottage cheese, the gluten-free pasta, the marinara sauce, and the mozzarella cheese. That's something else that I want to meal prep. I want to uh, prep some muffins, um, some sourdough muffins. I wanna meal prep some uh, pizza crust. Um, was thinking about prepping some like taco meat. I need to make some taco seasoning. So yeah, just um, all kinds of different things that I've got in my head, things that I already have um, that will just make life a little bit easier since we are getting so busy. So anyway, that is what we are going to be working on and doing. The, um, the hash browns and the sausage, I am going to meal prep uh, a breakfast casserole. So that way when Jack and Emily are walking out the door for work, they will have something healthy that they can eat. And then of course, Parker and I, when we get up, we can also have it. Um, what else? Um, I have tons of pinto beans and black beans. Some of it, some of it is canned and some of it is still dry. Um, and so we're gonna be, like I said before, incorporating beans and rice back into our diet. Um, I'm just hoping that I am, uh, I have the forethought to plan ahead so things can be soaking overnight. So we don't have, um, we don't have upset stomachs. Um, and then of course, like I can throw together a Mississippi roast and just put all the ingredients in a Ziploc bag and then that would be ready to just dump in the crock pot one day. Yeah, so that's, that's what my next big goal is, is to go through and see what ingredients that I have. What can I go ahead and put together in a Ziploc bag or, or whatever and then throw it in one of our freezers. So that, that's the goal. It's not completely and totally organized, so this might be a huge failure. But, you know, I, I just feel like even, even if I have just a few things in the freezer to have, it's going to set us up for success to where we're not tempted to run out and, uh, you know, go through a drive through or whatever. So, yeah. So that's the plan. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and all of my mumbling. And until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. You guys have a blessed day, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.